hope you're doing well <clears throat> welcome back to another video um yes i am starting this in my wearable blanket thing because i am so cold but i, I will change after <laughs> um today is going to be a reading vlog and then a review i guess of the mistletoe murder and other stories by pd james um and i've never read anything by her before um but she is apparently the acknowledged queen of crime um who has been commissioned by newspapers and magazines to write a short story for Christmas and four of the best have been drawn from the archives and published here together for the first time. From the title story about a stained country house Christmas party to another about an illicit affair that ends in murder plus two cases for Detective Adam Daglish. These are masterfully atmospheric stories with the lure of a mystery to be solved. So yeah, they sound really interesting. Um, I got this quite a while ago. But I was waiting for like holiday, Christmassy time to actually get to them. And there's four stories: the mistletoe murder, the very commonplace murder, the boxdale inheritance, and the twelve clues of Christmas. And they're all about like thirty to forty pages each, I think. I and mean, it's not that long. Um, and once I've read the story, I'll probably come on here and give a little like plot summary and mini review and then a uh, entire review at the end so yeah i'm really excited to get into this i love how it like shines and yeah have an update soon So, um, I'm currently out, um, I finished the first story, a Mistletoe Murder, and it was honestly so, so good. I only give it five stars. Um, basically, we follow the, like, unnamed protagonist, who is, uh, like a young widow, um, and she's recently rec been recruited into the army, it's in, uh, 1940, so, like, just the beginning of World War II, and, um, she gets invited to her, like, a strange grandma's like country house for Christmas um to see her cousin as well her like, second cousin and when she gets there there is a uh, like an unbeknownst to her another guest uh, which is like an, like a sort of like a relative they don't really know him I think he's called like Rowley or Roland um and he's not like very nice he's not really a nice character he's quite like misogynistic um but the day goes mostly fine um, Christmas Day. I don't even know why I started talking about it when I was out. But anyway, I came back, read some more on the bus. Um, basically, um, <clears throat> so the, the Christmas go, Christmas Day goes all fine, but then on Boxing Day, she wakes up and there's been a murder in the library. Dum dum dum. So um, the police come and like do it, like take interviews and stuff and then she um is she's like not satisfied with it she's kind of thinking that like, what actually happened and that, that like gives her this intent this desire to like investigate and is what she the character built her like life on afterwards um and although i i really really liked it i think although the reasoning wasn't it okay it, it's not right to like kill someone for certain thing but there is some merit to the reasonings provided and the way she pieced it together and it all just oh i really i really really love that one so much so much so much so much um then i started reading the second one uh, which is called um a commonplace murder a very commonplace murder um i got i was reading it i just finished it just now like the part like the last three pages when i came in um and i don't know what to think about this one like <clears throat> it was definitely written well and i hated the main character so much like i just as it went on i just hated him more and more and more um the main character is ernest gabriel um and he is like working for like a clerk or something and then he sees like uh these two people across the way every friday night having like an affair um and um the woman gets murdered 
um, but he sees the like the man like knocking on the door and then like going away and then he's like filled with this like oh I, I, I can be the savior I can I can tell I can do the right thing everyone will love me um, but as time goes on he keeps thinking of like reasons why he shouldn't come forward because like he was in like he wasn't meant to be in the place he was um, he was reading like the old managers like pornos um and um so he, he keeps going on and like he goes to trial and stuff and he keeps trying to think like why shouldn't i say something um and yeah i don't know it was definitely written well and it was interesting i just hated the main character but i was so intrigued by it so I don't know. I'm gonna think on what I'm gonna give that one star wise. The first one I'm gonna give five stars. Um and I will be with you probably tomorrow when I finish the book, hopefully. Hi. So um I've been reading a bit more of the third story now, which is called The Boxdale Inheritance. Um, and I'm quite intrigued, I'm quite interested in it. Um, I'm so cold. Basically, um, Chief Inspector or something, um, someone, Dagleish, has been, like, summoned or, like, called upon by his godfather, the canon H Hubert B Hoxley, uh, no, Hubert B Boxdale, um, <coughs> because um, he um, is basically is going to be the 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 heir of uh, Great Aunt Ali's like inheritance of like five hundred thousand pound, I think something like that, um, and. It's definitely money that this the canon guy could use because him and his family aren't like rich they're not necessarily poor either but um and they they always have like high spirits they're always like nice to people um he's i think he like works like in the church um and even if people like do take advantage of him in a way he's still like a nice person so he's like daglish is like Oh, if it, if it should go to anyone, it should really go to him because he's a nice person. But Great Aunt Ali was um, like accused of killing the canon's grandfather or great grandfather. I'm not sure. Um, like sixty years ago or something on Boxing Day during like a, like a family get together at like the grandfather's like house um and basically the grand so so if the canon is gonna take the inheritance he doesn't want to take it from like someone that was like a murderer she was like release of the crime or something but Dag but canon has asked daglish to like look back into the case and to determine if she was guilty or not and then he will decide if he should take the inheritance money okay so now Dagby she's like going back through the papers and sort of like the trial and thing and um it's like it's like 60 years ago so it's the so he's saying how like it might be difficult and stuff and like basically nearly everyone that was at the christmas event party whatever is like dead um so it's like quite difficult but basically um alice great aunt ali like married the granddad um and she was going to be like three years younger than his granddaughter so like quite a big age range um and they the christmas went okay and then boxing day came and then the grandfather was like feeling a bit like indigestion problems so he went up to bed and then the new wife alice ali um was like oh he went to she went to see him and then um she wanted she said i'll make some gruel to the maid cook people um and then he had some and stuff and then it's all about like the other people at the party and like they went to see him and things and um the dag leash guy is quite interested 
in the granddaughter, I think. Um, Miss Goddard. Miss Goddard. Um, and he wished he knew more about her. So it's getting quite interesting. Um, I'm not going to read any more now because I'm really tired. But um, I'll see you tomorrow. So I finished um, the Boxdale Inheritance. Um, basically, Dagleish is, um, goes to his like old friend Aubrey Galat, who was specialised in like Edwardian sort of era crimes. Um, but he never actually wrote a book about this certain case. Um, but he sort of like gets his like input in a way and like his theorising. And um, I said how he's like quite interested in the Miss Goddard. Um, and yep, yeah, and then just developments happen. And he sort of like, I really loved how like the main character was like theorizing and like determining like motives and that sort of thing. And just like the general, the detective, the investigations um, was really interesting and intriguing. Um, obviously, I don't want to like spoil the plot what actually happened, but I was I was kind of shook. Him. I was like, okay, you got me there, you got me there, P D James. Um, so I really like that the setting and writing and characters was all like well written, enjoyable to read. The plot wasn't like amazing; it was it was good. Um, but yeah, I probably would give it like four point two five stars. I think that story. Um, and yeah, it was it was interesting. Now I'm coming on to the last one. But I don't want it to end because I'm really enjoying these. Uh, which is the 12 Clues of Christmas. So, yeah. Let me read the first page and see how it sounds. The figure who leaps from the side of the road is in the darkness of a winter afternoon. Frantically waving down the approaching motorist. It's so much the creature of fiction. Then when it happened to the newly promoted Sir Sergeant Adam Daglish, his first thought was that he was had somehow become involved in one of those Christmas short stories written to provide a seasonal free song for the readers of an upmarket weekly magazine. But the figure was real enough. The emergency apparently genuine. Okay, that sounds interesting. <gasps> oh, okay, okay. What did I think of it? Adam paused for a moment and considered. My dear Aunt Jane, I don't think I'll ever have another case like it. It was pure Agatha Christie. That story was so fun. Oh my, I really enjoyed that one. So, basically, um, Adam Daglish is um, going to his aunt's um, cottage in Suffolk for Christmas and a stranger um, stops him on the road and is like um, my uncle has just committed suicide I, I don't I personally don't think that's a, a the correct way to state that way of someone dying you should say died by suicide because it reinforces the idea that it's a crime but that's beside the point it's not to do with the story um anyway and um he is like the phone's not working i don't I, can you drive me to a telephone box so we can call the police so that's what daglish does and then he's like um i'll take you back now while he waits for the police to come and he goes up to the room um and sees like the dead body the uncle um Cuthbert is the uncle um the guy who um stopped him Helmut Harkerville um and also present in the house was his sister Gertrude brother Carl and the temporary cook Mrs Dagworth um are all there and there's like a suicide note and things and then the Dagley is like left in the place and he's sort of like looking through things and thinking like oh it's a little bit suspicious but anyway then the like constable comes and um is like oh, I will, you can go now so that's what he does and then like a little bit later after getting in the like main inspector in the Suffolk town oh, I forgot his name um he comes to Daglish's like aunt's house and is like um can you come back to me I need like 
your help assistance and then like she's like um i'm gonna call this case like it could be from like a crime story the 12 clues of christmas and goes through all these 12 different clues that he suspects is why it's a murder and not a death by suicide and um obviously i don't want to say if he's right or not but i really enjoyed it it was like so good i hope it was all like piecing together and yeah so i think i'm going to end up giving this that story 4.75 stars i did some mathematizing and on average it would be um 4.37 stars um rating for the whole book so i think i'm gonna round up to 4.5 on on story graph but four stars on goodreads um and i would totally recommend this book um and i, I really want to read some more um books and stories by pd james i think like because i'm not really this isn't very little genre that i've got in, gone into sort of like murder mystery sort of like crime stories and stuff um and i feel like in short story format is a really good way because it keeps me interested and um although it sometimes does it does go quite fast paced it's it's it, it's interesting and i really really enjoyed it so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and i shall see you soon bye bye <laughs>